Hi there and welcome to Junior's Auto Service. Uh, just doing a little Q&A here with a few people that were asking me about uh, the new drive clean here in Ontario. About uh, whether their car is ready for an e-test or not. Um, the new system now works basically off of engine lights. I'm going to shut this truck off and then I'm going to start it back up. But if you look in the corner here you'll see a little check engine light comes on. If you're running and that engine light is still on, your car pretty much automatically fails. The new system now runs basically off of whether or not you have any engine codes in your engine, um, especially emissions related. Some codes do not count, like a transmission code or things like that, but anything with emissions or uh, computer control parts to the car, they do not work. So occasionally you go into the shop, they fix your engine light, it's now out. You're thinking, oh, I can go get a test. Well, no, especially in cold weather like we've had in the last uh, winter here, 2014, it's just been terribly cold. Um, your engine does diagnostic checks all by itself now, called onboard diagnostics. Right now we're on uh, version two. Some are CAN, controller area network, but uh, we'll just take a look at the scanner here as soon as the lens uh, adjusts. And you'll see there it says test complete. Now it, that one there is for misfire. Um, fuel system, components, catalyst, and if you scroll through, see it says not supported. Certain things are not supported, some are in each system, each vehicle. Every vehicle is different. As you see there, O2 sensors, test are complete, test complete. If this was to say not complete, not complete, depending on the year vehicle, it will not pass an e-test. You are allowed a certain amount of not complete for your vehicle. Um, anything 06 or 07 and newer can have none uh, that are not what called not ready or not complete. Uh, 05 you can have one not ready, uh, so on and so forth. I know this sounds uh, like technical jargon to most of you, but uh, for the most part that's why a guy will, a mechanic or a technician will say to you, you have to drive this car for a couple days, come back and see me and we'll see if it's ready for a test. He's actually trying to help you, save you money. Um, because if you go in and it's not ready for the test, they still have to charge you the $40 for the test. And uh, that kind of stinks if you have to go back and forth multiple times. So anyway, there's there's pretty much how the system works. And uh, it, it's a better system than the old one in certain ways, and in other ways it's not. This does not, most cars don't get a tailpipe test now, and uh, I think they should still. This is just a way for them to make more money off you, basically. And uh, I don't think it's right. But that's how you work in the Ontario Drive Clean. It's just uh, once you have your car fixed and all these tests come up complete, proper amount of them, your car is ready for an e-test. Um, and that's it. Thanks a lot and uh, have a good one.